Hey Equestrian Gamers, Kuli here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a stable tour. Now I haven't done a tour of my stable for goodness knows how long. It has been a long time. So I thought why not just do a little tour and show you guys what I currently have in my barn and in my yard. Not much has changed on my island. I did add the indoor arena and tried to decorate it a little bit. Um, it needs a lot of work. <laughs> it needs a lot of work. So I was mucking around with that for a little while. Nothing else has really changed that much. I did change the balloons on top of the big barn. Um, yeah. I haven't done a lot. I did actually put a few... Uh, cross country jump starting to go around the beach. I think I've only made it to about that broken bridge over there. That's as far as I've got. So not a heap and my little bridge that I'm building to the other island is still only halfway done. So we're getting there little by little, just little, very, very, very little by little. But let's have a look through the barn i'm actually thinking about changing some of the horses in here actually it's not very often that i change the horses in my barn like at all the ones in the paddock change a lot um but these ones typically stayed about the same so we'll see i have a few ideas but we are going to start with wisteria here now technically she's not in the barn but she is my go-to horse she's like the horse i use all the time. So Wisteria, I'll show you the stats of all the horses. So Wisteria is a black Rabicano Arabian. Um, I've had her for, well, since March 2022. So nearly, nearly two years I've had her. And she's just a good overall horse. So she's very fast. She's got really good stamina. Um, I just find her the best to ride around on, especially when catching wild horses. So she is always in my inventory. If you see me playing, you'll most likely see me um, playing, like riding her. Hey, but we're going to, how, actually, why don't we tie you up? There you go. You can stay there. Good girl. Alrighty. So let's start on this side, of course. First horse is... Is a Bella. Hello, darling. So she is the OG, guys. Absolutely the OG. She is like the mascot of this channel, is Isabella. So the plushie that I came up with is of Isabella. It looks so cute. I remember, oh my god, that was so long ago, too. Everything was so long ago, guys. When the plushie came out, I remembered that it was, um, it was this huge debate of whether it was of a horse or a unicorn because come on it does look a little bit like a unicorn with the pretty mane and tail but it's actually a replica of Isabella so I will put the code up on the screen somewhere for you guys but this is technically the first ever plushie that got in game um, because Trick contacted me and said hey um, I'd really like to show our appreciation for all the videos that you've made on the game would you like a special item i'm like oh my god yes <laughs> absolutely so i gave it some like lots and lots of thought because it was up to me to come up with an idea and it was either going to be dye because i collect a lot of dyes or i thought mm, maybe a plushie that sits on the back of the horse would be so cute so we end up going with the plushie and of course I had to make it so it looked like Isabella and it came out so cute. Look at it. It is so cute. Absolutely adorable. So this is the first plushie. This is like the plushie that started all the plushies. <laughs> and it makes me so happy. So happy that um, one of my ideas like contributed to the game and just grew from there i i just i don't know that just makes me so happy i absolutely love that but isabella oh let's bring up your stats only we're going to bring up the stats of all the horses but she is absolutely the 
top of the top. Like, <laughs> I would get rid of all my other horses before getting rid of her. She is at the top of the food chain. So she is a version 1 white Frisian. Her dye is the cotton candy, uh, which is a Robux dye that you can buy from the store. And she is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if you've been with me for a while, you definitely, definitely, definitely have seen Isabella. She is just the absolute mascot of my channel. And then coming a close second is Devil May Care. So Devil May Care is also a horse um, that is well known on this channel. He is definitely a favourite. When I made Isabella, I wanted to make like the opposite of her, which turned out to be Devil May Care. Please don't kick me this time. <laughs> He's a little bit feisty, just a little bit. Hey. Oh, I know, I got too close, I'm sorry. You're a good boy. You're, you're just feisty. So Devil May Care, of course, guys, most of my horses are Frisians. He is the version one black Frisian with the black red dye for his mane and tail. I've actually had him longer than I've had Wisteria. So I've already had this boy for two years now. Hey, okay. yes. I really do love this horse. I love just having the difference, like the cute, sweet, loving Isabella, and then the cranky, hey, okay, no bitey bitey, and then the cranky, fiery devil maker. So those two definitely go together. <laughs> he tried to kick me. Oh my goodness. You gotta be careful with him. So these two are definitely um, the top two horses of the channel and my favourite horses, easily. These are definitely both my favourites and they always will be. Right, on to Annabella. Hello, so Annabella has actually been a feature of recent videos. Are you going to show us your cute little face? She's like, no, I'm shy. <laughs> there we go. So little Annabella here is Isabella's very last foal. So just before they went to the version 2 Frisians, um, I actually teamed up with Vanilla Vanilla and we bred our main horses together. And this is the result. So little Annabella is a white Arabian. Um, and I did dye the mane and tail the same as mum. So the cotton candy mane and tail. So little Annabella was Isabella's very, very last foal, which is very cute. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. She was born 5th of January, 2023. So she's over a year old now. Doesn't feel like that long ago. It really doesn't. Time is just whew, racing by. Alrighty, and on to our next foal. So yes, Annabella is a forever foal. I gave Annabella a forever foal potion. And then very recently, we did the same with Shep. So this is little Shep. So I did a video very recently um, of turning him into a forever foal. Now we chose Shep. Um, I wanted to choose a very special foal uh, to turn into a forever foal and I went with Shep because Shep is actually Isabella's very first foal. So we have her very first and her very last foal. So this little guy was born on May 14th, 2022 and he's a little black pinto Frisian. I actually left it up to you guys to decide um, who to breed Isabella with first. And you guys voted on that all the, all the way back then. You guys voted on it. Um, and little Shep is the result. And Shep, the name itself is special as well. So he's just overall a very special little foal. All right. Next up, we have Enzo. Hi, darling. So this is Enzo. 
with the color changing tack. Enzo is very, very special. So he's a rare horse. He's actually the version one Valentine Frisian. So he is the pink hearted white Frisian. I started playing Wild Horse Islands on the 11th of February 2022. So just before the Valentine um, like event, the original Valentine event. So I was very, very lucky to actually be um, in game when um like at the beginning of all the events very very lucky so he is very very cute i love this horse absolutely love this horse so i know they used to be very very sought after i'm not sure if they are anymore i think it has moved on to different horses and i did end up with a couple of the valentine frisians and i gave the others away i did giveaways for the other ones and kept Enzo here. So he's definitely a horse I'll never trade. Um, he is always going to be um, in my stables. Oh, I miss the version. The version 2 Frisians look so much better. But the version 1 Frisians have a very, very special place in my heart. And they always will. All right. On to Galaxy's Angel. Hello. So this very, very cute little boy is actually the father of Shep. So Galaxy's Angel was the winner of the vote for who to breed Isabella with first. Bring up your stats. So again, he is a white version one Frisian. Yes, they are definitely my favorite by far. I have so many of them, especially with dyes because I collect dyes. So um, he is wearing the purple fade mane and tail. And he is a very, very cute boy. I keep trying to remember if he's supposed to have an aura on him. But I can't remember. I'm actually going to have to go back and watch a few videos from a couple of years ago. And see if he has an aura. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. But he is wearing like the galaxy tack, which was perfect for his mane and tail. Whoop. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a little distracted. So this is Galaxy's Angel. And then we have Blushing Bride. Again, yes, a white version one Frisian. So Blushing Bride. I actually chose this girl to be in the stable. Um, and the reason why she's special is actually because of her mane and tail. So the dye I used on her, which is Peachy Fade, is a rare dye. The only way to get this dye is to get it from treasure chests. So the Beachy Fade and Peachy Fade, you can only get from um, treasure hunting. So that's why I've always kept her in my stable. That's why she's special to me, why I see her in my eyes as rare. And plus she's so pretty, like, come on, she's gorgeous. I've had her for um, a couple of years, nearly a couple of years as well. I think these horses, most of the horses um, here are like always in my stable. And then we have Eyes to Heaven. Now, this girl, other than her pretty, very pretty aura and her little halo that she has there. I'm actually thinking about, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should swap her out for another horse. I might, I might. So the reason I kept hold of her way, um, I always thought she was special, is because I bred her like when the breeding um, first came out and I really wanted a Palomino coat on a Frisian and I got it. <laughs> this is her. So I absolutely love the coat. I love Palomino coats and I just thought her aura and that was very cute. But I think, I think I may actually swap her out for a different horse. I don't know what horse. I have no idea, but I think it's time. I think it's time. As beautiful as she is, she's a version one um, Palomino Pinto Frisian. I 
think I think it's time to swap her out to a different horse. I'll have to think of what horse. So there are so many horses. Like which horse do I put in the vent horse? If so, which one? Like there's so many. I've been playing for so long. Hmm. I don't know. But I think it is time. I think it's time. And then we have our first horse, which is not actually a Frisian. <laughs> Shock horror, I know. <laughs> this is Blossom. Blossom is one of my OG girls, aren't you? Hey? So you would have might have seen her in a couple of videos. Um, she is a Dapple Palomino thoroughbred. So I did dye her mane and tail white because she did originally have chestnut mane and tail. But she's amazing, amazing. So a really, really good horse. Um, I do like using her in races as long as the race is short because she doesn't have as much stamina as Wisteria, um, my Arabian. But I do love the tack. I've always loved um, the tack on her. I thought it turned out quite cute. And of course, with my favourite flower crown. So I've had her for a couple of years now as well. And then we've got a horse that isn't as old as the others. So we have Dandelion. So the first version 2 Frisian in my stable. You may remember the videos, um, the shorts video about her. Here we go. So she is a Chestnut Sabino version 2 Frisian. So I've had her only for about or oh, nearly a year now. So on the 29th of March, so nearly a year, in about a week, I'll have her for a year. I kept hold of her just because she's so pretty. Like, look at that coat. So, so, so pretty. I absolutely love that coat color. There's, there's a lot of coats that I like. But for some reason, she just, I don't know, I just got instantly attached to her. Beautiful. I love the yellow on her as well. We might have to find some sort of like a yellow tail bow or something for you, miss. All right. On to the next one. This is Potato. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it is about this little horse, but I adore him <laughs> so much. He is just so cute with his little star tack hey or your accessories i should say he is just so cute i don't know i don't know what it is about this guy <laughs> he's just adorable and i think the name as well just gets me just little potato <laughs> is what i think every time i see him so he's just a little dapple buckskin fjord um i don't know he's just cute okay he's just cute <laughs> I don't know what it is about him. He's just adorable. So he has he has a place in the stable. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> He's just cute. Okay. This one here. Now, oh, you are a mare. Actually, I know what I'm going to call you. I don't think I can name you. I think I might have to pick you up to name you. I have had a comment recently, um, so the person did actually comment this a couple of times and it was actually for the chestnut blanket uh, Frisian that's outside that I bred, but I think this name will actually work quite well with this horse. Oh my god, can I remember how to spell it? Oh no, wait, how do you spell it? Oh, my spelling is terrible. Um, here we go. Okay, I had to Google it. <laughs> S B A S I A. Whoop, only one I. So they've been asking, like, they've been requesting if they, I can name a horse Anastasia. And I actually think this name is beautiful for this horse 
Let's put you back in the stall. Oh my god, I love that. I love that movie. Oh my god. I would have watched that movie like hundreds of times. I loved Anastasia. I loved that movie so much. So I think I think that'll work out quite well for this girl actually. So she's a golden apple Frisian um, with the autumn fade mane and tail. So she's definitely one of my more recent horses. So I got her in February. So I've only had her for a few months. But I think I think Anastasia is a very cute name for her. Alrighty. On to the oh, let me let me get a drink um and then we'll move on to the next horse. Oh, okay. Sorry guys, I was getting a little dehydrated. <laughs> okay, next up we have Lucinda. So Lucinda is a horse that I purchased from a, another player because I didn't, um, I wasn't around for the Halloween event. So that was the Halloween event last year because um, I just wasn't playing any games um, or doing videos and that for a while. So I did miss the Halloween event. So I purchased this horse from another player uh, for tokens. It was an auction. So this is a Jack O' Lantern and Illusion. Oh my goodness, look. These coats are so much fun. They look so good. I'm kicking myself that I missed this event. I missed so much, but it is so cool. Like even the eyes. I thought that was such a cool horse. And this is another one that I missed and I purchased from another player. This is Keeper of Lost Souls. So Keeper of Lost Souls and Lucinda, you guys named them. I put out shorts videos um, asking for suggestions. This horse is really, really cool as well. So I do not know how to pronounce this. Uh, find? Fiend? I don't know. I have no idea, guys. I'm I'm lucky to be able to pronounce just normal English. English is hard. <laughs> English is really, really hard. So um, this horsey, we're just going to call it a Halloween horsey, <laughs> um, does have the dyed turquoise mane and tail, but it has the horns, which is really, really cool. And it just looks awesome. It's such an awesome looking horse. And of course it's a Frisian. So I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> such a cool horse. All right, on to another Halloween horse. This is Isabella's guardian angel. Hello, you are wearing the wrong halter. Why are you wearing it? What is that? Is that a summer halter? Why are you wearing a summer halter? Interesting. Okay, there's a few, there's a few little details I need to fix apparently. <laughs> so this one is a version one ghost, ghostly Frisian, so pure white. I did, of course, dye the mane and tail cotton candy to suit Isabella. And this is actually the um, ghostly Frisian from 2022. So this one, um, yeah, is from the, um, oh, was that the original? It must have been the original, yeah, 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 yeah version one. So the original, um, Halloween event, if I'm not mistaken. So I think she's pretty cool. Alrighty. Next up, we have Beauty's Grace. So Beauty's Grace is a version two Frisian. And she is the breeding unique. So the liver chestnut ovro um, coat. Hey, so I haven't had her for as long. So just since January 2023. So it's been a year now, just over a year. 
She may be a horse I replaced in the stable as well. So I had her in the stable because she's super pretty. Like the coat color is amazing. The eyes are a little scary though. <laughs> the eyes are still a bit scary. But hello, sweetheart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but her coat color is gorgeous. So that's why she's had a place um, in the stable as well. But I think... She may be another horse I swap out for something different. I don't, I, yes, I see you, buddy. I don't know what. So if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. But I think, I think it's time to swap her out as well. Alrighty, so the last two in the stable is, of course, Devil May Care and Isabella version 2. Oh, hang on. My doggy wants to come in. One moment. My goodness, all the disruptions today. So this is Devil May Care, um, but in the version 2 of the Frisian. So I've had him for about a year now, just over a year. And he's just a replica of Devil May Care. So he does have um, the same tack. He does have the devil horns um, and the aura as well. The version 2 Frisians are so pretty, my goodness. And then we have the version 2 of Isabella. So, someone pointed out that Isabella didn't have her aura. So, I took the aura off this one, put it on the original Isabella, and I still can't find what happened. <laughs> I think, wait, have I found it? I think I may have come across it on an alt account. I have no idea how it got there. But I'll have to put the aura back on her as well. I'm actually, I don't know whether I should have. Because this is the white Frisian, but obviously the white Frisian um, one is a lot brighter than the version two. So I don't know whether I should have got the original white coat color onto her. But I wanted it to represent the version 2. So this is the version 2 white Frisian. So, I don't know. It just looks a bit grey to me. Hmm. No, we're going to leave it. But I am going to find her aura. I will find her aura. Let's close these up. And I also need to change his personality. Because at the moment he's energetic. Um, and so is Isabella. The Devil May Care is the feisty one and Isabella is the clingy. Are you the clingy personality, darling? Yeah. So I will have to change that up. Just a couple of little things that I need to do. Put it on the list. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's have a look. So my pasture is not full at the moment. So what I have in here is the collection of Frisians that I have bred for the breeding series, which is the Appaloosas on two Frisians. So I have them all in here. I will be taking these guys out when I start on the next breed. And then there are three horses in here. So one, two, and three three that are different so these are my island unique hair horses that I caught and I have named them guys I did name them I did a shorts video asking for suggestions and I have picked out names so let's start with my first one I caught which is this girl here so this is Cinderella which you guys helped name as well. And she's a Bay Arabian with the limestone mane and tail. And then we have... Oh, here we go. Come here. Good girl. Oh, and she's gone again. So I went with Black Pearl because that was just perfect. Absolutely perfect. So many of you suggested Black Pearl for this one. So this is the... Where is she running? There she is. So she is the black quarter horse with the pearly mane and tail. So the information on these guys um, are in the shorts video, like where I caught them. And for my third one, here we go. I went with Calypso. 
So I don't know. It was just something about that name that really drew me in. I just really, really like that name. Um, and Calypso is a red chestnut and illusion with the leathery mane and tail. Alrighty, guys. So that is the stable tour done. Now the horses out here will definitely be changing up a lot. And I think, hmm, I think two of the horses in the stable will be changing soon. I just got to figure out what on earth I'm going to replace them with. So if you guys can help me with that, I would very, 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 very muchly appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.